Hi there. There's a lot of talk lately about removing the debt to income rule, but we at AMI Lenders believe that debt to income rule is a good rule for both lenders and borrowers. During the financial crisis in 2008 and 2009, there were more than 3 million foreclosures, which devastated the country's financial stability. In an attempt to prevent another financial breakdown, the debt to income rule was introduced. The DTI requires that lenders verify a borrower's ability to pay by making sure the amount of their monthly income spent on paying debts doesn't exceed 43% of their gross income. If it does, the lender shouldn't approve the loan. In essence, it's a way to protect people from overborrowing and honest lenders from losing their money. The short-term gains from rampant lending, as seen in 2008, are not worth the damage to the lender, the borrower, or the economy. That's why AMI Lenders adheres to federal lending regulations, but we are flexible and we also close and fund our loans as fast as the law allows. When other financing sources fail you, AMI Lenders will not. And if we can't help you ourselves, we'll find someone who can. So give us a call today. Thank you.